Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as that there German Reich. We are pretty, pretty large, but we can definitely... Three years, that was a comment yesterday on one of my very, very old videos. So, uh, right now, hold on, let's go over our plan. So, last episode's title was Produce, 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 which was a good idea. However, because we already have five, uh, five armies of 24 20 width infantry divisions already that's a good enough line for the Western Front now we'll still make some infantry divisions and we have the beginning of the next theater infantry armies already in production which are going to go down right now to Yugoslavia just in case something might happen but with that in mind because even though we already have a deficit of 14,000 guns and a thousand support equipment we are going to produce 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 planes and maybe tanks because right now, naval bombers, there's not a lot of naval bombers. Close air support's okay. Not really going to use close air support that much. Tactical bombers could definitely use a boost, but heavy fighters needs a massive boost. So we're going to produce a lot of planes by stripping down our infantry equipment. So right now, we have quite a bit of stockpile of artillery. Medium tanks are okay. I actually will probably increase this by... I don't mind getting maybe one more tungsten, actually. Let's get one more tungsten before I actually increase that line. Because we're still producing quite a few things anyways. Uh, let's do that. And then we'll reduce this by 5 to make sure that the things that we are using currently... Oops, I, I reduced that by 10, actually. I reduced that by 10, which is fine. Which is totally fine. We're still making over 100 guns a day. Yeah, over 100. Uh, infant support equipment, I'm going to keep that like that. We want a lot of tanks. And because I took off total of 10 infantry equipment, 5 went to the tanks, and 5 actually went to the naval bombers. So we're really going to really focus on more naval bombers and heavy fighters. That is... I need some more convoys, but whatever. Uh, you know what? What do we have here? Destroyers. Oh my gosh, these destroyers suck. Go ahead do this. I don't want to produce these crappy destroyers. They're so early on anyways, we might as well get rid of them. Uh, actually, since they're destroyers, I definitely want sub-detection. Engines are fine, as well as better torpedoes. We want more, though, of this. Right now we have depth charges. Torpedo attack isn't bad. I'll keep that on there, but we're really focusing on depth charges for our destroyers, because those are the main ones that we will use against submarines. So, that is actually okay with me. I don't mind destroying these right now, actually. Just go ahead and do that. Get the better destroyers. Um, would it be better to have one line or two lines right now? Let's get two lines. Because even though we'll technically produce less of these, it, they're still pretty good. And just put them to the High Seas Fleet. Really, I'm just going to put everything in the High Seas Fleet for now. I will divide the High Seas Fleet up a little bit better. But that'll be in the future. Let's see. Well, if I want more rubber, I need to produce my own rubber. But let's go to Siam for a little bit more. And that's good. Currently, we are going to produce a dock, more dockyards, which will be great. Another refinery, which will be great for oil. Well, I guess technically fuel as well. And rubber. Military factories. Finishing up the civilian factories. By the time we get to 1939, we'll be focusing only on refineries, pretty much. A few naval dockyards and mostly military factories. Also, since I just started this game up, uh, we can invite to faction. We did this at the beginning of the last episode, but we'll do it again, because we can. And they did not reply yet. Close air support, I'm not really worried about. Tactical bombers, uh, yeah, do that after we get enough heavy fighters here. Other than that, that's pretty good. And since I have upgraded my destroyers, uh, these are, I know these are subs, let's see. Medium risk, let's go to this. Can anyone be upgraded? No. It's a little concerning, actually. Let's, let's go show outdated equipment. We did use a little bit of our naval XP there. So subs. Class. Oh, oh, what? What is this? Mine length. Hold on. Before we actually figure out... The type 24. Lush. Uh, type 24 class. A lot of these are type 24. As well as... Uh, this... Alright, cool. Uh, let's see, show the outdated equipment. And here is, this is one of them. Oh my gosh. Change this to this. Mine lang, I don't use mines, at, at least at the moment. Uh, just do that. 
do that. Actually, that's, that's pretty good. Better torpedoes. I'm doing this only for destroyers because they can actually repair themselves. Not really repair themselves, but uh, them refitting. That's what the term is. Refitting themselves is actually okay. And this is the other one we are also using. Just to make sure that these are all kept up to date. Light battery 2s. Anti-air. Yeah, this is going to really kind of suck for uh, our naval XP. But we're still grinding it out, which we have time for. And then, good. Um, current design. Wait, we can't. Design is over maximum count of sonar. Oh, we have double. Oh, whoa, double, double sonars. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, this is for fire control. Well, yeah, level 0 is fine with me. Cool. Now, don't show outdated equipment. Now, we should have some... Uh, technically, we were supposed to have some upgrades here available, but they don't want to get upgraded. Actually, let me see. If we pause them, go ahead and repair. Uh, Hungary didn't want to come. Wait, what's that? Not paid licenses. Your country's not lending civilian factories for their licensed production. Possible, but I guess not. Whatever. And not paid licenses. You know what? I'll give them. A, I'll give them a couple days. You know, sometimes payment processes can take a while. I'll give them up until August 15th. And if we don't get our factories by then, then I'm revoking my license. So. Alright, so right now, actually, here's another tip I want to do. Uh, be, even though we're fighting Japan, if we can send an attach A, that would be good. No, we cannot send them an attach A because we've already sent volunteers to China. Can we do that to China? No, they will not accept. God dang it. Well... That, the only reason you want to do that is because we get military intelligence, 20% of their army experience gain, as well as... That's army XP and war support. Uh, would anyone else like to go to war? That would be great. Because I don't, really don't want to attack with these guys. Hmm. Anyways. Uh, let's see. Right now they haven't paid yet, so Yugoslavia? You've not paid, so we, I, we have no obligation to serve you. Awesome. Very good. So how is the production going now? Two a day for heavy fighters is not bad, especially in the kind of the beginning-ish era. Guns we could definitely do better on. Artillery is more than fine, which is good, actually. Actually, what do we get when we build refineries? So when we build our refinery, we get plus two rubber, which doesn't mean we actually get plus two rubber because of the way the trade works in the game. But we get more fuel from it as well, which is... Extremely great. Uh, let's see. 1938 stuff is done. Good. Because when we go to war, when we go to war with the Allies, we're going to need the, as much stuff as we can possibly get. Uh, that's actually not too bad. 179 days for even better anti-sub stuff. Let's see. Anything that we could use now against people. 1938, 40, 40. Extraction, we're all done on that. That's actually pretty good. We're, we're right on schedule. But what I want to do is prepare ourselves for an invasion of the UK. Now, eventually, I do want to get some Marines, so we might as well research that now. Uh, our army XP is going okay. Not great. It's going okay. And actually, let's go over here. Set that to medium. Wait. And you know what? Even though we have a lot of divisions already training, I don't feel that we really need all these. I mean, we're still going to be making these divisions, but I think 12 is probably good enough. We want to save some of our manpower and really start focusing... A little bit less on infantry and maybe focus maybe a little bit more on tanks. I want to make sure that everyone here is actually, actually, hold on, good enough first. Do we have enough army XP to make this into a 40 width medium, mostly medium, tank division? We are so close, so close. Yes, we actually have barely enough. I could do motorized artillery actually. Yeah, actually, that might be better. But it will cost a little bit more. I've never actually used this. It does give you more soft attack. Motorized artillery. But what's the organization? Yeah, you use... No, no, I definitely have to use uh, motorized infantry. you got to have a pretty good amount of organization just so that your tanks don't tire out too quickly. So let's do that. Holy crap, we actually had just barely enough to do that. Nice. And now that will kill our tank stockpile, but we're making a couple every day. And by the time the war starts, I think we'll be fine. This way we start off with three medium 40-width combat-width tank divisions and a, an okay-ish 
motorized division, so that's not too bad. Recuperating some of our manpower. Uh, I really don't want to help attack. Yeah, that's suicidal to attack that way. Fourth International happen, so not too bad. Oh, oh, by the way, guys, I know I normally miss these events, but uh, if you had a great Easter yesterday, I uh, hope you had a good one. You know, even if you had a great one, I hope you had a good one regardless. So, oh, oh, and there we go. So Britain and France. Announced an alliance, calling upon the bonds forged during the Great War. France has requested a formal alliance with Britain, setting unspecified threats against the stability of Europe. So be it. The fate of Czechoslovakia. Mm. Gotta love this coffee here. The end of Czechoslovakia is at hand, and our forces are marching into Prague at this very moment. With the surrender of the Czechoslovakian military, we have liberated vast quantities of armaments. Their tanks, in particular, should serve our forces well. Bowman will be annexed into Germany as a protectorate, but what should become of Slovakia? We can set them up as an autonomous puppet state under Josef Tiso. So we can... Carpathian Ruthenia over here. Uh, and we get more war support, which is actually pretty good. And we get Slovakia as a puppet, or we actually just let Hungary get all of Slovakia. Or we just get all of Slovakia ourselves. Well, someone in the comments did tell me that they wanted me to give more lands to potential allies. Even though Hungary said no to us to join our alliance twice, something tells me they'll probably stay with us. Hmm. Water's good. So, uh, yep, we didn't get Slovakia, but I don't mind giving uh, uh, Hungary's part of Slovakia. Just because uh, that'll help reduce a little bit of lag. Alright, cool. Now, uh, what is this? Oh, the tanks are down. Yeah, the tanks are down here. Cool. Mm, you know what? I'm going to put you down here first. That'll be good. And actually, because of that, the Hungarians joined our alliance... And actually, that does make Hungary a little bit stronger with eating up Slovakia. But, let's see. We put the main army around Yugoslavia, and then these guys will actually come over here, next to France. Because I don't like the French. Very cool. Uh, come there. Awesome. Oh, oh not awesome yet. Yeah, we need a next national focus. I really need to align Hungary and Romania. I definitely need Romania. It is 1938, and honestly, we really don't need to do much. We could demand Slovenia, but we can wait on that for now. Let's go ahead and do Gross Raumwertschaft for more infrastructure speed, which is okay. But really align Romania because they got a lot of oil. Ah, some of that black gold, man. Look at that, 75 oil, awesome. And the question of Yugoslavia, with the Czech, with the Czechs and Slovaks out of the picture, the balance of balance of power in southeastern Europe has shifted dramatically. Check arms and money were used to support a number of countries now that now need to look for new sponsors. Uh, who's the leader of Yugoslavia? Prince Paul? Well, I'm going to squeeze Prince Paul a little bit. Oh, we have 198 factories. Very good. And Hungary, of course, renounces the Treaty of Trianon. I wonder if Hungary will ever get these as cores. Uh, reaff oh, reaffirm territorial claims. They gain core on Romanian territory as well as southern Slovakia. Demand Southern Slovakia? Well, I already gave you Southern Slovakia. So, yeah, and then claim lordship over this. So, I kind of already nullified that. Cool. Radio detection? Actually, that's really good in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do this next. And then maybe actually... Let's put that in the plan. Because we're definitely going to need that when we invade the UK. We'll definitely need that when we invade the Benelux in France. And you know what? We might need it for Yugoslavia. We'll need it for uh, portions of Russia, Lithuania maybe even. You never know. And how's this going? We are getting attacked in Asia. Come on, just give me a lot more army XP, please. And we're still on the resource tab. Cool. Von Manstein, please don't lose two divisions like I did last time. Yeah, I don't want that to happen again. Dismantle Czech forts. We could build forts and coastal forts faster for six months. Or we could just keep them there. I really don't see the point of me dismantling them. I mean, there's, we could definitely use this as a defensive position for us, if that ever would happen. So, I really don't see the point of that. It's 1938. It's almost 1939. And there's still not very much I really should or need to do. Military construction speed. Um, 
yeah, there's really not much here. I mean, I'll probably do Heinrich Himmler later, so we get less effective partisans and more non-core manpower. Maybe Goebbels, just because of war support. But other than that, yeah, I mean, we're pretty good. We don't really need this yet, either. I will definitely do Tactical Bomber and Heavy Fighter Reliability, but Tank Designer? Um, you know what, if anything, we'll probably use this. Medium Tanks, Armor, Armor, Armor. Even though it does say Medium Tank Designer, it just says armor bonuses for all of them. Do we want more speed and reliability, which is actually pretty good. Armor, which is actually pretty good, and heart attack, which is okay. And medium tank for reliability and soft attack. Well, I love reliability. I love speed. S soft attack... The more soft attack you do, the more damage you can do, which isn't bad. Speed can be really resourceful. I'm going to actually choose speed, just because you want to get into the enemy's position as fast as possible to cut them off. And to... You know, stop them from moving in too fast. And actually, right now, what I'm planning is let's remove our dependence on Venezuelan just by a little, little, little bit. Venezuelan oil just by a little bit, and actually transfer that to rubber over here because we need more planes. Tactical bombers, it's not bad. We got, we're doing pretty well. Naval bombers, uh, heavy fighters, we're gonna need more. I'm not just gonna be straight up honest with y'all. We're gonna need more. Obviously, we'll need more tanks, but with three and a half a day. So, not too bad. Uh, looks like the Chinese have been moving up and around. Good for you, China. Good for you. Just give me more army XP if you can. Oh, and because the AI, AI is kind of abandoned, the line has now come back, uh, we're kind of expanding as well. Cool. Do that, even though we definitely won't have enough divisions for all covering all this. Oh my gosh, China. No, 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 China. No, bad China. No, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to completely abandon the line. <sighs> even though with Soviets... I don't even know the Soviets are actually here. Oh, wait, who's this? China, Communist China. No, no, no Soviets. They've actually expanded fairly well. Yeah, don't... Just don't abandon the line completely, guys. It's kind of a rookie mistake. Just don't... Fight by the AI. Uh, good, good, good. Autarky is still good. We're building up more naval dockyards, another military factory, which I actually I will add more military factories over here when we're done. But, yeah, we definitely need a ton of refineries. Once that one is done, you know what, just go ahead and throw another military factory in the mix. Let's see, max infrastructure. Who has the best infrastructure? 70%? I'm not doing it on the coast because I'm saving that for dockyards. 60, 60, 60, a lot of 60s, you know? 60% isn't usually a good grade to get. 70 over here. Uh, this is a place it has to be. Saxon it is. Awesome. Oh, it looks like we are attacking? Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that, guys. As much as China wants you to attack, they'll probably get pushed back a little, quite a bit. Uh, do the next thing of radar. Because actually that'll help you build radar on your ships. Especially your destroyers. Very... Actually, for your light cruisers, which actually we really need to make, actually. Oh, that's not good. Now, once this destroyer is done, actually, I'm going to make some light cruisers. Actually, we already have some light cruisers here. Oh, my goodness. But I don't want to do that yet, because... Why? We've got light cruiser armor, too. Secondary battery. Cruiser engine, too. Uh, we need radar. That's right. We need radar. And I'll make those light cruisers once we get decimetric radar, because that will make decimetric naval search radar, which is important. Awesome. We have aligned hungry. As well as did that focus. Great. And the reason why this passed is because we already have Hungary in our alliance. Let's go ahead and align Romania, which will make them more fascist every day for two years. Which is something something that we really need. Because of all their oil, so I can puppet them. Good, 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 good. Hungary, how are you doing? Civilian industry, bled agreement. Strengthen the fascists, so they're becoming more fascist by themselves. Secret rearmament and interventionism. Uh, Slovakia is looking very good under you. You're still a colony state, and actually you're doing civilian industries. So they already demand southern Slovakia. I hope they do claim lordship or something. Greater Hungary. Huh. That's fine with me. Uh, civilian. Oh, they went civilian, so you got two more civilian factories there. I've not played actually as Hungary in a very long time. Normally I don't like playing as them because they're not exactly super weak, but they're a minor power. That could make a difference in the war effort. It's November. If I do this now, we will continue to make... We will make artillery that's not outdated. If we research that artillery now. 
All right, so since you can't give me everything I want, I'll just get it from Norway. Awesome. Oh, yep, I am definitely out of coffee. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. If we need to threaten the Yugos, or pretty much the Serbs, we've got a contingency plan. Tanks, they're doing great now. Look at that. Deficit of less than 800. Everything else is positive. We got a ton of guns. Actually, so many guns that uh, I'm actually going to support this by three. One, two, three. And then do that. Because we have so many guns right now. And we could really use more planes and whatnot. Awesome. Another research slot. It's almost 1939. Go ahead and get some better guns. Even more political power? What do we do with more political power in almost 1939? We get an aircraft designer. Naval bombers. Uh, naval bomber range actually is pretty good. And more naval attack. Because in the latest hotfix, or at least Man the Guns DLC update, they nerfed naval bombing quite a bit. So actually, this might not be too bad. But we wouldn't get any benefit except from naval bombers. So that's not really worth it. If we do Fock Wolf, we're, we will be using tactical bombers and heavy fighters. I mean, I want to use close air support, but I don't ever use carrier close air support. Strategic bombers, I'm not using. And I'm not using that. So, fuck Wolf, it's ease. And actually, let's take a look. I'm Since I have so much political power, I am boosting the ideology in the United States, which is at 36%. Wow. It might get to the point where 1940, they might elect a fascist, or I could try a coup in the country. Uh, you have to have... Oh. To stage a coup, stability of a receiving nation should be below 80%. Oh, boy. But maybe they'll have a civil war because there's so many of them there. Uh, how many more days until we have Federators? 80 days. That's quite a while away. But it doesn't take extremely long to build up more and more light cruisers, so that might not actually be too bad. Uh, oh, okay. So you're both doing stuff. You know what? Go ahead and repair for now. A lot of you guys are doing a great job. All but one will repair. And then over here, anyone need upgrades, need repair? You guys are training as well, which is great, great, great. Of course, these guys are probably going to get the blown hell out of the water. It just... German Navy sucks so bad. And there's nothing you can really do except build a massive air force. Alright, what's going on here? The Chinese are still trying to take Beijing back. Not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen anytime soon. Mm. Gotta love that water. Aligning Romania. That's good. What is Romania up to? The IAR-80. I've not played as Romania in a long time. I've heard it's pretty hard if you want to play as Romania. Or at least it can be. Let's see. Oh, they get a bonus to researching and technology. Alright. Uh, what are the French up to? Colonial industry. They don't have a lot of factories. There's, they have Escalator. Escalator. Klaus invoked. Alright. They don't have a lot of dockyards. It actually seems like we have more dockyards than them. Almost three times as many dockyards. We have about double the amount of civilian industry they have, and about maybe about double or maybe slightly less than double of their military factories, so that's pretty good as well. They do have a lot of divisions. The UK, definitely more dockyards than we do, or more than the French, I mean. Steady as she goes. Well, so be it. Uh, currently, oh, we are done making more military factories. No, we're not. No, 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 no. 70%, please. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great year so far. we will do that. 50% is not good enough. Austria is good enough. And then 60%. Oberschließen. Oberschließen. That's good. Uh, go ahead and do that up there. That's awesome. Marines. Let's get some more. Since we're building and producing. Yeah, we're going to have a very heavy focus on industry. Good. Aligning Romania is good and done. West Wall actually would be good so that we can defend against the French. And now we can invite... Cool. Yeah. Come on in, man. And Bulgaria? This is kind of surprising. <clears throat> but I guess you're becoming more and more fascist until 1942. Which is uh, fine with me. I wasn't ex exactly expecting you, but... After with, with the Poles and the Czechs not there, that's not a bad axis, actually. Yeah, they got the allies around here, but that's not too bad. Mass motorization, better. Mechanized offensive, not bad at all. We only have 200-some factories, which is, you know, not great. But it could definitely be worse. Do that. 
as well. Uh, we got a couple more divisions here. Great. Stockpile of tanks is doing okay. Not great, but they're doing okay. And are we still fighting over here? Yes, we are defending ourselves a little bit from the Japanese attackers. Which, we will probably encounter quite a few more Japanese attackers from here on out. Because it looks like they are pushing the Chinese back. Oh, China. Oh, China. But they're not, they haven't invaded yet, so that's not too bad. That's good. 1939. Land auction is going swimmingly. Air Doctrine, we actually might want to send some planes to China to help them out. 1939 stuff. Production. Just produce. Just produce. Not reproduce, but just produce. Mm, not bad, not bad. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure that both are going at the same rate, kind of. And then... Even more stuff here. Well, Chief of the Navy. Capital ship armor and attack. Is, that's pretty good. Convoy raiding. I'll probably do Air Raider. What about Air Force first? Experience gain, we can't do this yet. Air superiority is probably what we're going to do. Armor. Definitely armor. There's no debate. That, uh, not bad, not bad. What was I thinking of? Maybe we need less... <clears throat> excuse me, less oil now. Get, get one of our factories back to help produce more, 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 more. Uh, reduce that down, down there. That's good. Our guys are getting attacked. It's fine. Our guys are strong enough. No real biggie. Tanks are still doing okay. We still kind of have a deficit, but that's okay. If I had to, I don't mind increasing this by three. Ah, there we go. Better radar. Good. Get even better radar after that. Go ahead and do th these areas first. Uh, push that up and push that up as well. And that. There you go. Now, let's produce a better light cruiser. Destroyer, light cruiser. Alright, cruiser armor, secondary battery, better cruiser engine. Actually, get some radar so we get some more surface detection. Fire control systems are fine. That's good. Rapid fire guns, light cruiser battery. That's good. Better aircraft stuff. Uh, another cannon is fine with me. Light cruiser battery too. But get rid of this for more anti-air. And then, yeah, a lot of anti-air. So we got a lot of anti-air. Torpedo attack goes down, which is fine. More HP. Speed isn't bad. Fuel usage is kind of not okay. But it's okay. Good enough. We can detect subs. We can attack, detect other ships better. And we have better armor and light attack and piercing. Good. Go ahead and produce that. Uh, that's this one. I'm pretty sure that's... This is the one we just made. There we go. And actually, put you at the top. And then... Set this to 5 and 5. It'll take until 1940, but whatever. Alright. Good. You are all training. Fine with me. Good, because... Eventually there'll be a time when we can't actually repair it all. Because our ships will be super busy. Go ahead and repair, 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 repair. And good. Awesome. Now, technically, we can go to war whenever we want, I think. Uh, focus, West Wall. Once West Wall is done, I will probably try to go for Demand Slovenia. See what happens. If not, just go ahead and maybe anti common turn pack, second Vienna award. Oh, alliance with Italy would be good as well. Actually, we might do second. Vienna Ward first. Maybe. We'll see what happens. It's almost done. Medium tanks. Well, even though we're not exactly done with medium tanks, let's do this. That'll be good. Uh, field hospitals. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely add field hospitals because we're using infantry. And because we are using 10 infantry battalions. And not much else. Ooh, Japan invaded. That's not good. They will take a lot of casualties, because it's mostly just infantry battalions. So, field hospitals, in my opinion, when doing this, are pretty much a must if you... Especially Germany. Ooh. Good, keep getting attacked. West Wall is done. Good, 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 good. Now, it's April. We've got a few days left. A few days. We want to do... Second Vienna Award. Transylvania. Eh, we don't... Uh, I want to do that, but I want to be allied with Italy as well. Reassert Eastern Claims. 
Danziger War. Hmm. I really want Slovenia, but I really want Italy in our alliance. Second V and our war. I want. I really, really want Italy, so that way we can get down to France or Spain. I mean. Let's do second Vienna War, so that, that way I can get to Italy, and then after Italy, then we can go to war with the French. And Zog submits to Italy. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even though they only got five more factories. Oh, look. These guys are nice and good. Send a lot of these divisions over here. Oh, and we are not getting our imports. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Guanzi Clique. You're failing me, man. You're failing me. Uh, send some to British... Oh, no, the Portuguese. That's good. That's good. And... Awesome. MP38. 1940, MP39, I mean. Let's do that next, and then probably follow it up by some fuel. Awesome. And let's go ahead and deploy some of our planes. Let's see. What are we working on, guys? Junkers... Oh, look at... Oh, that's so good. You need a lot of manpower for planes and stuff. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. And actually, we'll deploy the naval bombers up here. Awesome. That's actually really good. We already had some planes, of course, but... Good. Good. Wait, but these are naval bombers? In Wait. Yeah. Naval bombers should not be able to do that. Naval strike... Port strikes are not bad. Eh, we'll do that. Let's see. Uh, do that and then split them all up. Now select half of those and come over here. And then select one, two, three, four, and come over close to Munich. Awesome. Production is going well. We have people deployed. Uh, we could train them, but that will reduce our fuel. And you know, training them is good and all, but. I want to keep as much fuel as possible since I am also training my naval stuff, which in my opinion requires more time to do and a lot more effort. Just because when the war begins, I'm not going to be able to train my navy. I can always continue training though my air force. Let's do one more thing before we actually end it here. Let's see, air force. Uh, there's nothing really here I can choose. Navy or air force? Navy really will need some help. But him and Galring will get more air superiority, so that's really what I would probably want the most. Awesome. We're building up a lot of good things here, guys. A lot, a lot of good things. Getting more rubber, getting more fuel. This is all going to be very good for us when we go to war. Pretty, pretty soon, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm just going to let this play out just a few more days. But with that in mind, as we are getting attacked in Asia, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're just producing, producing, producing a whole lot. Yes, we don't have as many factories as I would like, but you know, that's going to be the case for every single game. I would always want more and more and more, but I think we're doing pretty well. But with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I, of course, will be here waiting for you. Thanks for watching.